Ditch in our high pressure ridge that brought us the frigid cold conditions post Christmas. Now we're working in seasonal temperatures thanks to a uh, shakeup in the atmosphere. Stormy weather on the move, sliding in throughout the west. And what we have right now, scattered snow showers over on First Lord Viper radar. Very light flurries at this moment. More wet weather on the way as we go through tonight and tomorrow. But all in all, I'm not looking for much in the amount of heavy snowfall. These storms are very unorganized. As they're coming on shore, uh, they're getting torn apart, they're splitting and are breaking apart as they get into the mountains. West, but still just enough energy here to pull in scattered snow flurries and showers tonight, tomorrow, and then for the, pretty much for the rest of the week. This wet weather will be spitting at us as we go forward into your Wednesday and Thursday as well. Let's jump over to Vipercast. Tonight around 10 o'clock, snow will start coming back around. Notice there's some green on the map too. It's going to be a rain snow mix tonight for many spots. A lot of melting snow as we get into tonight and tomorrow with temperatures right around the freezing mark. Now, as we get into tomorrow morning for the commute, heading off to work and school here. As we wake up tomorrow, we're going to be looking at flurries and snow showers. The amount of snowfall is still looking pretty light here. About an inch in the Snake River Plain, two to four inches as you roll further to the north into Island Park, and pushing five to six inches, of course, into the mountains. But even then, that's stretching it. All right, around five o'clock tomorrow afternoon, partly to mostly cloudy conditions, lightly scattered flurries and snow showers as we get into tomorrow. Again, one to two inches possible for the Snake River Plain. We'll have a chance of snow tonight and tomorrow. Then Wednesday morning, another round of snow funnels through. And Wednesday afternoon, another good push of snow that could bring another inch or so to the Snake River Plain. And another couple of more inches to our local mountains. Tonight, lows heading back into the mid to lower 20s. Winds 5 to 15, and they'll have the late night snow showers in through tomorrow morning. Highs tomorrow at 34 for Idaho Falls. 39, Pocatello getting above the freezing mark, well above freezing, and we're going to see a lot of melting snow during the day. Also, though, if you go to the flip side here at night, it's below freezing, and so slick conditions will be a big problem for overnight drivers. A low of 9 tonight in Salmon with a high of 19 tomorrow. Still pretty cold in Lemhi County. It's going to take another day before they can shake off that cold air. 32 in Island Park, 34 for Rexburg, 31 in Jackson Hole with 31 in West Yellowstone. Southeastern Highlands, lower 30s in Montpelier and Soda Springs with lows tonight back into the mid to lower 20s. Eight day forecast. Scattered snow flurries and showers to take us all the way into the weekend. Best chance to see snow again tonight through tomorrow with about a one to two inch possible in the Snake River Plain. Another couple of inches possible getting into Wednesday and then off and on flurries and showers to take us into the weekend. But temperatures will be above freezing during the day for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, dropping below freezing Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Pocatello highs pushing around 39 for Tuesday, 40 for Wednesday, upper 30s on Thursday. This weekend, a chance of snow, just a slight chance of a few passing snow showers with highs into the mid to lower 20s. Rexburg, 37 for Wednesday, 33 on Thursday. So even Rexburg getting above freezing during the day. At night, dropping below freezing with lows into the teens and 20s. Blackfoot, I got you at highs here into the mid-30s on Tuesday, upper 30s on Wednesday, and into the upper 20s on Saturday. Blackfoot, slight chance of snow this weekend. Salmon, it's again cold here for tomorrow. We'll get close to the mid to upper 20s in Salmon on Thursday and Friday. It's going to be very tough to kind of scour out some of this cold air, but at least Salmon is also going to see temperatures bumping up a bit for the weekend with highs into the mid to upper 20s. Jackson Hole and the National Parks, you're looking at highs here into the lower 30s in town for Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going to be bringing in some scattered snow flurries and showers, but this weekend, or this entire week, in fact, you're looking at excellent skiing conditions because we are going to get some wind, but nothing crazy in terms of wind speeds, but scattered snow showers and flurries to get us into the weekend. Jay, I'll send it back over to you. All right. Thank you very much, Michael. Let's take a look at how the markets closed for the day. Now, let me take a